Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn of Cast Iron Cookware, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookware. I'm going to show my process to cooking french fries in my cast iron Dutch oven, and I'm going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to thank everyone that's purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. The purchase of this product helps keep this channel going, and I just want to say thank you so very much. So let's get on into our video. What I'm going to be using today is my number 10 Birmingham Stove and Range Century Series Dutch Oven. The way you can tell it is Century Series is because the dimples radiate in an even pattern compared to the random patterns of the Red Mountain series. Not only that, the font, you can't see the, the font on the bottom of the Dutch oven because it's got a lot of layers of seasoning on it. But you can partially see the font in the center right here. The Century series has a more descriptive font and it looks more typewriter style along with uh, the number dot and then the size and also the fraction in the red mountain only has the number size and probably a mold mark or two i'm going to go ahead and pull my camera down so you can see what i'm doing oh by the way i'm also going to be using my little french fry basket or fryer basket and i modified this one a little bit i will leave a card right here for that video if you want to check it out but I like being able to leave my basket in my Dutch oven and just be able to uh, click it in and pull it out. That way I can leave my lid on it and it looks nice and neat. So let me pull the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna start with my Birmingham Stove and Range Dutch oven. And also when cooking french fries, having a high output burner is awesome to keep your temperature up. This is actually a wok burner. And of course, I have my fry basket, and it has the nice little hook here. And then, like I said earlier, when I'm not using it, I can set it aside, and it's kind of neat. I just have to find a place to store this out of the way. But let's get back to the process. Okay, number one, I'm going to be using grapeseed oil. I'm particularly using olivary grapeseed oil. This is what I purchased at Walmart. Now it only has a 10% saturated fat. So you're not going to get as much fat content in your fries. That's kind of a healthier choice. But one thing about grapeseed oil, it has a smoke point of 420 degrees or 421 depending on where you read online. And it allows you to get up to high temperatures without scorching your oil. Scorching your oil will make it not last as long. I'm going to go ahead and start with a partial bottle. And you don't really want to go much over halfway because you're going to need room for your process because when you put your fries in there, it's going to boil. So in this particular instance, we have about halfway, maybe a little bit better than halfway. When you put your basket on here, it's not going to be touching the oil. So you can go ahead and put your french fries in there and wait for your oil to get hot enough if you'd like. You want to get your temperature up with french fries to about 375, 380 degrees to get a good crispy french fry. And it's going to cook really quick as long as you don't put too much in there at one time. Small batches is the key. One of my little things is I like using a thermometer to get my temperature. Now this one right here is just a simple uh, digital thermometer. You can use different kinds. When I can't find this one or it's being used on the oven or in another place, I will use this one here as my backup. I use it for cooking steaks. I use it for cooking just about everything. It automatically comes on. It's made by Thermaworks. I will leave a link in the description below to this. 
it is an awesome uh, device. Probably the best one on the market. I think it's the best one. It's the best one I've ever used. But I'll use it to test. So I'm going to set this temperature timer to 375 degrees. And we're talking Fahrenheit. 375 to 380 degrees Fahrenheit. So, okay, and I'm just going to put this lead down in my pot, crank it up on high, and I will say this, once you start putting heat to your oil, do not leave it. It is a potential fire hazard. One thing with using a Dutch oven or any kind of cookware with oil and you're putting heat to it, there's potential for it to overheat and catch fire. And that usually happens when somebody's not watching. There's been a lot of houses burned because people forgot about their oil that was on their stove. So once you start putting heat to it, do not leave it. You know, stay right there. Don't walk away and hope that the little thermometer will beep and you'll know when it gets hot enough. The battery could go dead and you could forget so do not leave it. Continue to monitor the progress as you're going. Now I'm going to be using Walmart brand Great Value. And these are pre-seasoned fries. You can use whatever fries you like. Wedges, whatever. The principle will be the same no matter what. There's quite a few other steps when it comes to making homemade fries. And I'm going to try to do a video on the homemade fries later on. But just to let you know, all of those crazy hard steps have been done already by the companies that do the frozen fries. And you can use whatever brand you like. Now, you know, they've done the blanching, they've done the rinsing, they've done the cooling, the whole nine yards. So all that you have to do is get your oil ready and pour them in. Okay, we've been watching it pretty closely and we're already up to 360 degrees. So we're getting close. I went ahead and took the liberty to go ahead and put some french fries in. Now I have these pre-seasoned fries and if you notice, I haven't got it just full. Now with as much grease and as big a pot as this, this is, we can get by with putting in about a pound. Now if you're using a number eight Dutch oven with a smaller basket, you might not get by, but maybe with a half a pound. And if you don't have a basket, one of these guys here will work pretty good. It's called a spider and you can just pour them in what I like to do is drop them in the spider, put them in the oil, and then kind of pour them out. Watch and see how much boilage you got. Then you put some more in, and then when it comes time to scoop them out, this is really handy. But today we're going to be using our fry basket. And we're going to leave our thermometer in, and we're just going to drop these in. Give them a little bit of a shake. Kind of jiggle them around. We've already dropped down to 360 degrees. 358, 356. Now, if something happens and you get boil over or you're starting to get boil over, go ahead and lift them out. And that will save you from the issues of having boil over. Now we drop down to 342 degrees, 340. So we've lost a lot of temperature, even by using one pound. May be a good idea to wait and do half pound batches. So our temperature has went down to 330 degrees. So we have lost 45 degrees. So we still have good boilage, and that's what you want. And then I start seeing quite a few float to the top, then they're ready to come out. Starting to see a few float. Now these are smaller cut fries. Now if you're going to be using larger steak fries, you may want to leave them in there a little longer. I think we're going to be done. It's only been a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and cut my oil off. And you hear that kind of a rattly sound? That lets you know they're done. Put these in here. 
give us a little bit of salt. So now we're ready to test the crispiness of our fries. Now I gotta get along in here. Very good. Need a little more salt. Just be careful. You know, always monitor your Dutch oven when it's full of oil on the heat because we don't want any fires. We want to keep everybody safe. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I promise I'll keep more coming. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before you go, I would like to share something with you really quickly. In Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13, it says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.